how are you doing? Do you get yourself some breaks? I recently had a couple of occasions where I could take some breaks from the daily life. I joined some retreats. The nice things about retreats is that you pause. You allow yourself the time to do nothing. And in this time, when you stay paused, not thinking, not doing anything, long enough, you recognize some depth is arising. Or maybe I had the luck and that happened to me. I remembered why I started this podcast. I remembered why I got interested in career or work in the first place. That's what I want to share with you today. Let's start with a definition first, shall we? When I started coaching, I thought, Who do I really want to serve? And the answer was who I was, who I once was, or who I needed when I felt stuck. I called myself a career coach. And because career has a different meaning for everyone, I got connected or reached out by people who wanted to get feedback on their CVs, who wanted to get a job, who wanted to get a promotion, which is all fine. But that was what I meant by career. Actually, I am also feeling a bit distant to the word career right now. I think work is a more meaningful word. And when I say work, I mean your effort, your organized effort focused into making a difference. And that focused effort and the difference is unique to you. It is your activity that gives you sense of purpose that gives you flow, but at the end, it also gives others, the world, a contribution. It is why you are needed in this world. All of us have this unique power to make a contribution. All of us bring something unique to this world. When we get to do the work that we love, it doesn't only impact us, it impacts everyone around us. When I talk about your unique contribution to others, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are actively creating a product or you are actively designing something new or you are bringing a service to the world. These are all great contributions and these are usually the ones that come to our mind when we think of the contribution or work. But I believe the energy you bring to this world is also a contribution and it's a very important contribution. There are two ways of this. When you do the work you love, when you feel connected, when you feel a sense of purpose, you are energized. And this energy is sensed by everyone around you in every environment. 
This energy is reflected to every life decision that you take. It's contagious. If you are doing a work that you don't like, maybe even more than don't like, maybe something that sucks your energy, something you despise, something that you want to get rid of. When you spend your time with this work and you keep on doing this work, how is your energy? How is your mood? While you are in this work, you are busy with this work, you you spend your days and times with this work and you feel that way, you are bringing this energy to everywhere you go as well. And you are making an impact with this energy. It is a responsibility that you have for yourself to take care of your energy, but also be aware that however you feel has an impact on others as well. So when you take care of yourself, when you make changes in your life so that your energy rises, so that you look forward to life, so that you want to contribute, you are actually contributing to others by bringing this energy to everywhere you go. So it's not only about you, it's about us all. We are connected. I told you that this taking a time of going on retreat had helped me to connect why I'm doing this. And I started with defining work. So work is our unique contribution. It's something that we do and we feel sense of purpose. We feel flow. We feel energized. And career is for me a series of work, maybe a story of the work line that we have done so far. And career is really a story. That would be the best description. Hopefully, it's a story which keeps on expanding itself and which keeps on getting more and more interesting. What connected me with this purpose was an image that came to my mind. I remembered my grandfather who had passed away some years ago. My grandfather was a very talented man. He, when he was young, he was very handsome. He was loved by all the ladies of the town. He had a beautiful voice that he could sing so well. He could speak so well. He had lots of poems in his mind that he can tell and charm people. I don't know the exact story. I think as everyone experienced it back at that time, he ended up working in a bank as a cashier. And he kept on working in this job till he get he got retired. As long as I remember him, he was aloof. He was close. He didn't want to be disturbed. And he was finding a little window of excitement when he turned on the radio and the music that he loved came on the radio. And when he was doing his crossword puzzles. Apart from that, it was all the same. And he got angry very quickly. And he was, I think he was depressed all his life. And sadly, towards the end of his life, he got Alzheimer's disease. And he died by forgetting how to swallow. He deleted all his memory of his life. That story repeated, partially, thank God, repeated itself also with my father. That he 
followed a journey finding himself in a job where he couldn't express any of his unique talents and he couldn't feel a sense of purpose or he couldn't get energized. And I remember when I was a child that he was really, really depressed. Now that he is uh, not working anymore, he's retired, he has the time of his life that he can choose what he wants to do. And I thought, I thought really the reason that my grandfather, my father, they experienced depression was because they couldn't express their potential and they didn't see any possibility to get out of this rut, this hamster's uh, cycle. That story started very similar in my case, but I changed that story. And I could see how my energy has changed. I really believe work is more than just work. And work is definitely more than just money. Work is what we came to this world for work is how we can impact others how we can see the impact of our talents of our mind of our soul and heart in a matter outside of us and i think when we know what we are capable of and we don't do it that creates an impact an energy that grows bigger, 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 but inside of ourselves. And this becomes a heavy load. And that causes depression. And in some people, it's causing cancer. All these emotions, all these feelings that were not channeled, expressed, or just let go of shows itself somehow, reminds themselves. So I really believe we need to remember that work is important. We are here to make a unique difference. And we will keep on looking for it and creating it along the way. Now here comes my other point. I have been doing this podcast since I think October last year and I have interviewed 15, maybe more than 15 people now. I have interviewed and listened to lots of other people and read lots of books about it. And what I realized is that very few people are lucky to start life with knowing this is exactly what I want to do. Some people do know it, but the circumstances don't allow them to pursue it. They later connect it back to their life. But most of the time, finding doing work you love is a process. You do something, you don't like it, you change, you do something else. You like it a bit better, but still not the thing. You change to another one. And at some point, you create this great mix for yourself, which satisfies you, which energizes you. This is a process. But this process only happens if you take action. If you don't do anything, you are not satisfied with where you are and stay, without moving, nothing will change. You take action and you see that it's again not the work that you love. That's okay. It's a process. You learn from it. You do something different. You learn something more. 
this knowing that it's a process gives you an understanding and patience for your life. You can recognize what you have learned so far and decide what change you will do. Now I am transitioning to the place for the skills that will help you to find or do the work you love. First thing is patience. Patience comes with knowing that it's a process. So you don't judge yourself or expect from yourself that in the next move you got it. Doesn't have to be. You only make choices based on the information that is available to you right now. But some of the information reveal itself when you start doing the work and you notice some of the things you do is not actually matching with what you want to do or who you want to be. Patience is important virtue and you can develop it. Knowing that it's a process will help you. Second skill, persistence. You have to choose yourself. You have to keep on choosing yourself. You don't have to settle. You remember the process. You keep going. And you keep on creating. Third is connections. In most of my interviews, how people found their jobs, the work that they love, was through another person offering them, suggesting them or acknowledging a talent in them. That I think is related with curiosity. You stay curious about your process and also about the people around you. You ask them, you observe them, how they do it. You get in touch with them, you learn from them. And they will increase your awareness around what is possible in you and outside of you. So that you can make a better choice next time. Letting go. I have learned a very important skill. Letting go of the past mistakes, letting go of your self-judgment, letting go of the previous job experience, or letting go of yesterday's story and starting the day, the minute, the hour fresh. Everybody who could invent themselves knew were able to let go of their past. It doesn't mean they forgot their past. They did use their past and built on it. But they could let go of who they were once to become who they want to become. So these skills are the things that will help you to find fulfillment in your work and find the work you love. Forget about understanding who you are, what you do. If you will put yourself on the process, be patient, choose yourself, connect with others, stay curious and let go of the past. You will enjoy the journey and you will make better, better, better choices and you will make this contribution that you are born to make. I want you to have wonderful days ahead of you. I would love you to take a pause, let go of your thoughts, to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Get curious about what's awaiting you in your process and choose yourself. You are here for the contribution 
only you can make. You are unique. Thank you for choosing this podcast. Talk to you in the next episode.